Hello, welcome to another edition of the Picture Book Post. I'm Dr. Aaron Shaw. Today we're going to be reviewing Whale in a Fishbowl by Troy Howell and Richard Jones. Um, let's talk about first off, uh, what is this cover? What do we think of the cover? Well, it's kind of dull colors, but I think it's intentionally dull colors. Uh, the book is called Whale in a Fishbowl, and you can imagine how sad that is, and the book cover looks pretty sad. So I actually think that the cover is pretty catching in terms of uh, the title itself. That makes me interested to know what the heck they're talking about. And also, it looks kind of sad, so it looks like one of those touching fi uh, picture book stories. So I kind of like the cover. Uh, as we move into it, the concept here is we have a whale uh, that is in a fishbowl in the middle of a city. You can see it right here. Um, and it's all about this whale feeling out of place but not sure why and it keeps seeing this thing in the distance um, and it doesn't know what it is, it just knows it's, it's this great blue thing that really moves it for some reason. And the, the whale keeps trying to see it and it's doing tricks and people come to see it until one day finally a little girl comes to see the whale. Uh, and the whale, the girl talks to the little whale and basically says, you don't belong in a fishbowl, you belong at the sea. Well, the whale doesn't know what the sea is, but it starts to think about that. And it starts kind of pondering over that more and more until eventually, if you re saw my other video, we, we read through the whole book, the end is when the whale finally gets out to the sea. So uh, I really like the artwork. It's kind of this desolate color. It's very simple, but it does a, a really effective job of showing you what it's like to be the whale in the middle of a city. Um, and so I really like the artwork here. I think it does a great job. I think the writing is touching and moving throughout. You keep wondering what's going to happen to this whale. Uh, you connect to the whale uh, in a kind of a deep emotional way. And you really hope that the whale is going to be able to get out of this fishbowl in the middle of the city and that it will finally discover what it's been missing all along. So I like the writing. I like the artwork. Um, when we get finally to the ending, that's kind of the big, huge moment, and I think the moment is okay. Um, the whale does finally get out to the ocean. Um, I love how big and beautiful this blue is when it gets out here. You can see the whale finally getting in. You see how little the boats are by comparison. I love this part where the, the ending here where the, the whale is doing all these amazing things. It's swimming, it's soaring, it's diving, it's doing all that. Uh, and then it's singing, uh, it's finally singing for the first time. And that's kind of an emotional touching thing, I think. Um, it's not a home run, but it is pretty good. And it does a good job of bringing home the moral, I think, which is uh, basically sometimes other people know and can lead you to where you need to be. They can see that you're not where you belong. Um, and so I think that that's a, that's a pretty good lesson to learn in life, and the book does a decent job of doing that. It's just not an emotional wallop at the end. I'm not laughing out loud. I'm not crying. Um, it's, it's just a pretty decent way of showing you that, um, hey, sometimes there's something better out there in the world, and you might need a little bit of a guide to get you there, even if the guide is an unlikely one like a little girl. Uh, sometimes they can still touch you enough to, to make you think about better possibilities. Uh, so it's almost like a good dedication to a teacher or to a mentor um, in, in that way. But again, I wouldn't call it a home run, uh, but I would say it's a pretty good solid double or a triple here, right? Um, so in general, I think uh, Whale in a Fishbowl is a nice book. It would be a good gift to give to a teacher or to a mentor that really meant something to you that uh, profound you, profoundly kind of led you in the right direction. Um, is it something that little kids are going to totally understand? I don't know that they're going to get that deep of a concept, but they will root for the whale and hope that the whale gets to a better place. So um, anyway, in general, good book. Um, not a home run, but a, but a really, really decent little book, picture book. So that's it. Thanks for listening to the Picture Book Post, and we'll talk to you next time on the show. Thanks.